Hello everybody, how y'all doing on this Wednesday afternoon? I hope you're doing well. This is kind of a big reading, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, jump into it. All right, so first deck that we're using, as always, Spirit Animal Oracle. Find out what sort of spirit animals we have around us. All right, and the first card that we pulled from the bottom of the deck is the number 36 card. That's the 3-6 card, the Koi Fish Spirit, There is Always Enough. All right, and the second card pulled from the top of the deck, the number 63 card, that's the 6-3 card, the Vulture Spirit, nothing is wasted. And the last card pulled from the top of the deck as well, the number 68 card, that's the 6-8 card, the Wombat Spirit, be at home. Okay, and all this added up to five, and I read, find it interesting, I believe it was yesterday that I had mentioned the Vulture Spirit, uh, it was either yesterday or the day before, and of course that card winds up popping up. And also, just to let you all know, as far as the home is concerned, you know, the, with the Wombat Spirit could mean your actual physical home, maybe it's a, a message having to do with your physical home that you live in, some sort of uh, home, you know, whatever home environment that you happen to live in, or whatever or it can also be referred to your actual home that our spirit lives in you know our bodies basically so that connection between mind body and spirit okay all right second deck that i was called to today uh the green witch tarot by ann moore and kira ostergaard leonard okay all right and first card, uh, and I always use the Tree of Life spread with, with this deck, okay? And um, so basically we up here, I know you can't see it very well, but we have the branches up here, the trunk, the, um, uh, um, the branches basically being on the community environment, the trunk, what supports us, the, uh, the roots uh, with incoming energy, and then the tap root is our outcome, okay? So with our branches, starting with, um, with the bottom of the deck, the, uh, is the uh, Seven of Pentacles. So definitely something about a project that we're working on, um, okay? Uh, basically planting seeds, watch them grow and everything. They're the project that we're uh, working on, but we still have a long way to go with finishing it, okay? Second card, the rest of these are pulled from the top of the deck. The second card is from the Major Arcana, the number three card, the Earth Mother. That would be the um, Empress, okay? And then the third card is uh, also from the Major Arcana, the number one card, the Witch, also the Magician. Number four is the Page of Chalices, which would be the Page of uh, Cups. Number five is the Queen of Wands. And number five, the, uh, number six, in the number six position, excuse me, um, is um, from the Major Arcana, the number five card, the High Priest, which would be the Hierophant or Hierophant, excuse me. I always say hier Hierophant for some reason. And <laughs> maybe in a past life, that's how you pronounced it. I don't know. <laughs> All right. And then the last card in the branches is the Three of Wands. Okay. So how you would wind up, uh, you can either read it going straight across or the way that I usually like to do it is um, going outward and then um, matching up the cards until you get to the middle card here. Okay. So basically. So basically it would be these two cards, and then these two, and then these two, okay? Until we get to the, uh, starting with our trunk, okay? And in the number eight position, uh, which is uh, on our trunk here, is the King of Wands. So we both have the Queen and King of Wands, so a lot of passion, um, a lot of fire energy. And then we have the Seven of Athames overcoming uh, some sort of obstacle despite the challenges, okay? Um, uh, as far as our en incoming energy is concerned, um, secondary energy, starting with the Eight of Athames, which would be the Eight of Swords, over, um, being tested about something. Um, then we have the Ace of Chalices, which would be the Ace of Cups. Um, let's continue on with the secondary energy. Um, next we have Five of Pentacles, and then we have 
Eight of Wands. All right. And then our primary, primary energy that's coming in, Nine of Wands. And then our tap root, though, Six of Chalices, which would be the Six of Cups. All right. So, and all of that added up to two, so some sort of partnership. So it could be either a spiritual partnership, an actual physical partnership, or maybe the partnership that we have in ourselves, you know, uh, between the divine masculine and divine feminine, um, you know, within ourselves, you know, that, that duality that we each have and everything, maybe it's that sort of partnership, or like I said, it could be about spiritual partnership. I'm going with spiritual partnership primarily because when you add it all up the five plus two is seven our intuition okay excuse me and seven uh, being you know about that divine inspiration and so forth so it, it's interesting though you know that i had um you know the other day had mentioned you know the vulture spirit nothing is wasted so it i feel like this is continuing on with um whichever video that was either monday or yesterday i can't remember at, the, at this point but yeah like i like i had said not you know on the one hand, nothing, there's always enough. No matter what, we always have enough, okay? And basically, use what you got, okay? Don't be running out buying a bunch of stuff, you know, amulets or, or you know, if, if you're experimenting with cooking or whatever. I actually went through this the other day, and instead of uh, going out and buying a bunch of stuff, it's like, you know what? What do I have right around the house here? And I just made up, made up something. <laughs> It was actually really good. <laughs> Very tasty. I've been enjoying it. So, and I'm a big one for leftovers. Uh, I'll eat on them for the next several days. So yeah, nothing is wasted. Okay. And of course, be at home. And like I said, you know, it could be your actual physical home environment, or it could uh, be about your connection between your mind, body, and spirit. Okay. So, Right now, yeah, we ha there's some sort of project that we may, may have been working on in relation to our new adventure. Could be, uh, um, you know, with our visions that we have for ourselves. I know that uh, a lot of us have been working on that, you know, envisioning this person that we really want to be. We may have been working on that. We're making a lot of great progress on and everything, but we still got a lot of work to do, okay? And most importantly right now, yeah, we see ourselves as that empress, that earth mother, birthing something new, something beautiful, something wonderful and everything. Keep using your wisdom to keep uh, going after it, keep achieving it, okay? Use what you got. You, you are a magical person. You can do this. Whatever it is that you're working on, you can do this. You have everything that you need, okay? to be able to accomplish what it is that you want. And, and basically, our, our, um, even though it's, the, it's these two cards that are paired up, this is an aspect of the Empress. Keep tapping in, into that intuition, that self-confidence, that passion to accomplish what you want. Because it's helping to spark that creativity, that youthful, wonderful, beautiful creativity. And it's making, and it's also making you stronger. It's making you more honest with yourself, and it's giving you a lot more self-confidence, okay? And it's helping you to overcome a lot of challenges. Despite obstacles that may be being thrown in your way, it's helping to overcome all of that. And yes, we're going to keep being tested, especially through all these retrogrades and everything. Keep following your intuition. You can do this because what you're going after is new self-love. And that's what matters most. All that beautiful self-love. Okay? Yeah. With those tests and so forth, they're going to they're gonna make you stand up and be like, yeah, I, 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 it's going to make you be on guard, basically. But that's okay. It's all right. It's okay to release and let go. And just remember, you've got the support network back there. Back there behind her. Just, just remember, you've got the support network with your spiritual community. And that's what matters most. Okay? Even if everybody else around you is falling, falling um, behind and everything and you know, isn't supporting you, you've got it because you, you've got the, spirit, the, the spiritual network. That's what matters most. And you know that because of all the signs and so forth that you have coming in. And what you're moving towards is something very beautiful. All right, love you all. Don't forget to like and share.